France, 1905, and stories about a barren, airless place hold people entranced. There are tales of starving dogs, unlucky horses, and men being killed by trees. There are stories of an alien land, a land on the other side of the world, a land known as the Colony of New South Wales. Australia, 2005. A hundred years later, we know now that those tales were written by Paul Vence, a French-born Australian author who married Hattie Dunn and lived on Nanima in the Forbes district from 1898 to 1939. His stories have been lost for years, hidden away on library shelves, growing cobwebs in archives, but surprising a lucky few who chance upon them from time to time. Sabine Pirat and John Paul Delamont together conceived a project to help restore Paul Vence's name. They decided to print a limited edition of two of his tales in French with English translations and have the books bound by some of the world's best bookbinders. The Uraba Paper Company of Bogabilla was commissioned to make the paper. They used cotton rag, local plants and okra to make the distinctive Australian paper. As part of the project, Sydney bookbinders learned how to make paper and the Uraba people learned how to bind books. Uraba Paper Company was started by nine senior Gumore women when Paul West, their TAFE teacher, asked what they'd like to do at the end of their art course. And he said, what, it, what would you like to do? And we said, We'll make paper, we'll, we just want to stay together, work together and laugh together. We, we. <laughs> there is a tree, a special tree, and it's called Ura, a Ura tree. You use it, the leaves, for different kinds of things, medicines, yeah. 